Hi, it's uh, Oliver James here from Love M44, and I'm delighted to be joined by Duncan, Good who's going. the chairman of Caddy's, Caddy's Head um, JFC. Um, and uh, we've got a very, very big event this weekend. We have, uh, we've uh, got a tournament coming up, which is um, 6th and 7th, which is Saturday and Sunday. This Saturday and Sunday. Correct. And we're expecting quite a large turnout of her. I think we've got 96 teams in total, roughly about 950 kids coming over the weekend. Wow, so nearly 1,000 thousand kids playing football. Yeah, plus all the parents and everybody else yeah. that comes with it as well. And obviously that's on our doorstep in Caddy's Head, um, just off Rosen Drive. That's correct. Um, which is just off New Moss Road, so it's just down the road. Um, what time is it starting on Saturday? It's off at 10 o'clock on Saturday, 10 o'clock on Sunday. Finishes approximately about 4 o'clock. OK, so we it's an all-day event. Down. Obviously, the weather is forecast to be really good. Uh, so it's going to be a sunny day. So if you fancy a walk down to the fields and come and watch some football, there'll be plenty of matches on and there's some uh, ice creams here as well, I can yeah. see. So um, you might be able to pick up an ice cream or two. Uh, but moving forward, um, what other things have you got planned for the future? Uh, well, we've got soccer camps over the course of the summer, which is starting at the beginning of the school holidays, going right the way through. So how do you, how would somebody get involved with something like that? If they get onto the website, you can see that it's advertised or on Facebook, which is Kelly Z JFC, and then you can get in touch with Dave Ingle, who runs the soccer camps. I'm sure there's a few places left. Pretty much most of them are booked, but there is the odd place that I believe that. Okay, is so that's still that, free. that's something if you're interested. What I will do is I'll put a link below this video uh, of the Facebook page and the website, so you can have a quick link, a quick have a look, have a, have a look around. Um, so you are doing any fundraisers, any fun, anything like that coming along where obviously the community needs to help you well, as a local we've, team? We've just done a small fundraiser which was part of the presentation, we did really well where we had uh, two items that were for auction. They went for about 455 which was a Marcus Rashford uh, signed picture and we had a Pep Guardiola one okay. which that raised 455 in total so that's, that's great. Future plans, what we've got coming up for the development of Rolston Drive and the changing rooms where we are now, we're looking to ex not expand but inside make it slightly different, make it more open, have some interactive TVs where we can go through football analysis and then the pitches need some um, redevelopment work as well. So we're looking it's, it's, an it's a very, very impressive um, field this and uh, you know it's very surprising how big it is. Um, so it has a lot, lot going for it. How many teams have you got now? God, we've got 210 children, including the academy. And I believe you've got a girls' team now as well, which is excellent. We've just got the girl. Well, we've had the girls' team for a few years, but we've okay. got another one coming on board as okay. well. Okay. So if there's any girls expand. that want to get involved in that, could they? Uh, yeah, get in touch with the club. It's on there on the website. Okay. It's got all the uh, all the details for all the committee members. Okay. And all the managers as well. So please get in touch. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today. No problem. Uh, so anyone thinking of doing something this weekend, feel free to pop down Saturday and or Sunday, 10 till 4. It's uh, in Caddy said it's just down New Moss Road and it's Rawson Drive playing fields uh, and there's going to be 10 teams playing here uh, over the course of the weekend so that'll be uh, fun and the sun's going to be out. So thanks for watching. So from Duncan it's uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And from me, don't forget to love M44. Thank you.